Hi everyone, we will go through few exam preparation guidelines. So I know the exams are nearing, so I'll share with you certain guidelines, hoping that it will be useful for you. So write all answers in a sequence, all the questions in a sequence. Write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Don't jumble up, write it in a sequence. Yella no jumble maad bedi, yella sequence al bariri. So part A first, part B first, part C, part D, athara. Amele, put question numbers correctly. Andre, Normally, in Antubasati Nodidine, you, you end up putting question numbers wrong, right? You put answers for some other question, but the question number is different, right? I have frequently seen this. So, don't do this particular uh, mistake. Ensure that you put the question numbers correctly. So, that is why once you finish the exam, right, there are certain things that you have to follow. Once you have attempted all the questions that you want to, come back to the answer paper and check if you have put question numbers correctly, right? And then, Highlight the answer, right? The end of every answer, highlight it, right? Either put an underline or you put a you know square box, something, you no, know, highlight it so that it is very evident for the examiner. And always put the units. Normally we forget to put the units. Uh, units are now. For example, uh, rupees so square centimeter, square meters. Units at least square units. Either square units, area idre square, volume idre cube. Right, volume with the cube. So, like this, you have to ensure that you put units properly because if you don't put the units, you will lose marks. So, then solpa nodi. If units are kidra, so mostly sumar answer galge units idhe So, just check for those units. Once you finish attempting the paper, right, all answers na verify madi. Andre he verify madi thira. One do you step by step check madi bodo. All answers sari kidiyo ilwa. Right, you can check if every step is correct. Right, especially. Uh, now sign change madhavaga. when you move from plus to minus minus to plus so these are the places where we normally go wrong now ikade ikade in the ikade atharvaga when we push variables from one side to another side right left hand side to right hand side rhs to lhs so when we do that we we actually do mistakes with signs so verify the signs and then uh, try to use calculator wherever possible don't rely on mental math right Mansele calculate madadu, you try to calculate uh, in your own minds, right? Don't do this in the exam. There's a possibility that we will do mistakes, right? So what you can do is, you can use calculator. Even for simplest of calculations, use a calculator. And then, there are certain questions where you can verify if the answer is correct or not. For example, Kramer's rule, matrix method. And uh, in application of derivatives, you have finding numbers, right? Um, they will give you product of two numbers or sum of two numbers. You have to you have to find out the numbers. So it's very easy. So if you have a product of two numbers and the sum of two numbers is 40, say sum of two numbers is 40, then obviously it could be 20 and 20, right? Answer could be 20 and 20. If it is 60, it could be 30 and 30. So this kind of a problem in application of derivatives, answer is straightforward. You'll know by looking at the answer that answer is correct. And partial fractions, even in partial fractions, you can verify if the answer is correct or not, right? For example, say this is a partial fraction, right? Say this is a question. And you get this as the answer. Now, how do you verify if this is right or wrong? Simple. You take the LCM. You just take uh, this one, this one, right? Cross multiply each of this like this. 1 into x plus 4 into x minus 3, 2 into x minus 3, 1 into x plus 4. Into... So, take the LCM, take the LCM in and multiply, right? When, once you multiply, when you simplify, you'll get the question back. See here, right? I'll get the question back. This way, you yourself will be confident that this answer is correct. So problems like this, you can verify. And for other problems where you can't verify, just go through step by step to see if the answer is correct. Spend some time. Instead of attempting extra questions and spending time, whatever existing questions you have written, check for answers. Check step by step for answers. Now next one, pick problems that, are, that take less time. So people who want to take 90 plus marks, right? You would be prepared for more than 100 marks. You would have prepared for several chapters, which is more than 100 marks. You can attempt many extra questions in the paper. Now, for them, it's better if you are prepared for calculus, attempt calculus first, right? Application of derivatives, trigonometry. You first attempt these questions, right? Because these questions take lesser time, the number of steps is less and you'll get the answer quickly. After attempting these, then you can go to extra questions. So, this is one thing. And then there are also problems where you have to prove, right? Especially in trigonometry, you need to prove that LHS is equal to RHS. So, these kind of problems you can pick when you are attempting for questions. Now, extra questions. So, the way you have to write extra questions is, first take one or two questions in part B, extra. That is after you have written uh, the required uh, answers, right? Say, suppose you have to answer nine questions here. 
right in part b and you have answered all nine now you have some time left so what you will do is you will finish part b then you will go to part c then you will go to part d then part e right and you will only do the required questions right 9 9 5 and 6 and 4 two questions here right that's what you're going to do now for extras you come back right after you finish the paper first finish the paper first finish the paper right second second verify verify answers third verify question numbers fourth extras so this should be the way you should do so first finish the paper just for 100 marks that is whatever is required finish it then verify the answers right verify that you put all the question numbers correctly then come to extras now when you're coming to extras say in part b take one or two extra questions finish it off part c one or two extra questions part d one or two right part d will take time but you can take one or two part e again this will take a lot of time so you decide if you have time take it up right so this way you will have to prepare it this way so don't uh, write down extra questions initially itself that is if you're solving part b just attempt nine questions and then don't try to take 11 or 12 don't try to take extra questions in the beginning finish the entire paper and then come back and write the extras and again i'm telling you verification is very important it's better to have one correct answer than two wrong answers now how do you prepare for the exam this is about how you write an exam how do you prepare for the exam right so you have another few days to write the exam right decide now itself say go part part b you decide now itself which are the chapters that you are going to be thorough with in the next few days you should be sure that i'm going to be thorough with matrices i'm going to be thorough with permutations bill discounting trigonometry parabola differentiation decide now itself what are those nine chapters you have to attempt nine questions here in part b so decide what are those nine chapters that you are going to be thorough right so that in the exam when you go you don't get confused or you don't spend time thinking ki id maadla id maadla id maadla id maadla yavud maadli right don't spend time thinking what should i do which question should i attempt right should it be second one third one fourth one fifth one right that confusion will waste a lot of time and in that confusion you will not make right decisions maybe you pick a question which is tougher or which is prone to mistakes so initially itself decide at least at least you should know have a fair idea ki i'm going to take these chapters right so for example if you're not confident of trigonometry okay keep it aside right if you're not confident of limits and continuity keep it aside right now you should know yeah i'm i'm going to be thorough with permutations thorough with mathematical logic thorough, thorough with ratio proportions so you go to that particular chapter study all these two markers right go to that particular chapter ensure that you are able to solve all two markers if you can solve maximum two markers and if you're confident then you can surely be confident that in the exam also you will get the right answers and you'll be quick when you write the exam so decide up front so modle decide maadi yav chapter nan tharu agirtini so if it is nine questions ella 9 chapter na tharu agirbeku yavud adu 9 antu modle decide maadi there is no point preparing for all the chapters and being partially prepared for some and and thoroughly prepared for some no there is no point right choose something which you can be thorough with so next part c so if i were you i would probably decide okay i will take kramer's rule it thogonde thogoltin nanu yakandre number of steps is less calculations kammine ide right number of calculation is lesser right and you can verify the answer so whatever x and y value you get you can verify so i will take this so guarantee you three marks i can get so this is one thing second thing i would have probably taken parabola because again less number of steps right straightforward calculations uh, uh, not many so parabola differential calculus yes i would prefer this because you have to prove here right if you have proven you know the answer is correct so there is no doubt again you will get three marks guaranteed here so here you will get in kramer's rule three marks guaranteed in uh, in uh, differential calculus three marks guaranteed right and here here you see this find two positive numbers whose sum is 14 sum is 14 number can be 7 7 because normally both the numbers will be same right so numbers can be uh, 7 7 so again this is a guaranteed guaranteed three marker so you yourself know that three marks in this entire part c is correct so this way upfront make a decision on what you're going to prepare right so that when you go to the exam 
यू आर क्लियर ओके क्रेमज रूल या लेट मी पिक इट अप देन तार बोला ओ या फाइन लेट मी टेक इट अप देन कम्स डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस लेट मी टेक इट अप अपलिकेशन डेरेवेटर्स लेट मी टेक इट आउट सो हाफ द चॉइसिस विल बी इजी फॉर यू द रिमेनिंग हाफ यू कैन थिंक अबाउट राइट बेस्ड ऑन हाउ द क्वेश्चन इज रेशियो प्रपोर्शन नॉर्मली यू डोंट नो वॉट कैंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम विल कम एनी कैंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम कैन कम इन रेशियो प्रपोर्शन सेम इज द केस विद बिल डिस्काउंटिंग सेम इज द केस विद स्टॉक्स एंड शेयर्स राइट सो यू डोंट नो वॉट कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल कम यू डोंट नो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयर ऑल्सो राइट प्रॉबिलिटी राइट प्रॉबिलिटी ऑल्सो एनी क्वेश्चन कैन कम सो सच क्वेश्चन यू कैन डिसाइड इन द एग्जाम बट एटलीस्ट by looking at model paper you will know okay i can prepare for parabola i can prepare for calculus i can prepare for uh, uh, integral calculus differential calculus application of derivatives uh, kreber's rule determinants yeah be little careful with the determinants because sometimes if we have not practiced enough we might spend time thinking as to what operation to apply right that itself might eat away our time so be careful when you are solving determinants right don't spend more time so keep some time watch okay keep a watch say part c you are going to take 30 to 40 minutes right so ensure that if you are keeping 30 to 40 minutes for part c you should finish each sum in 5 to 6 minutes right you should finish each sum in 5 to 6 minutes now if you are spending more than 10 minutes on this particular sum then think about it because don't overspend any time on any particular question if you are getting stuck determinant there is a possibility if you are getting stuck right don't overspend time right go to the next question i've given you uh, tips and tricks for how to solve determinant problems right go through that video see now coming to part d here matrix method you can verify but be careful when you pick up this question because though the method is clear you can go wrong in matrix multiplication if you go wrong in matrix multiplication entire problem is gone five marks is gone so be careful uh, but one good thing about matrix method is you can verify x y z whatever values you have got you can put it in this equation and see if you've got the right answer or not that much you can be sure of right but be careful when you are picking this up right unless you have very good practice and uh, you you can verify in the exam that these answers are correct you are fine right now partial fraction you can verify so you can take this right then logically equivalent here also this is fast right you can quickly if you know the tricks of how to remember the truth table then this is also going to be fast so partial fraction logical equivalence lpp so lpp also you can do it quickly right so sometimes when you draw a graph the intersecting point of the shaded region right intersecting point of the shaded region you might go wrong in point 1 or point 2 because when you're plotting there could be small differences so there is a, a technique to get the intersecting point just solve these equations right solve these equations like this you solve these equations solve these equations find x and y find x and y this x and y point will be the intersecting point normally so if you have confusion you know sometimes it will be 0.01 0.02 i mean in such small numbers you might go wrong in the in finding the intersecting point that time you you solve these equations get xy that will be the intersecting point so only if you have doubt right if i have plotted it correctly or not then use this technique now again trigonometry there is it's a proving statement so you can be confident of this particular answer here also right this is also differential calculus you can prove so here you can be confident right so like this there are many questions where you can be confident of uh, getting the right answer so keep a note of that one more thing solve two to three question papers you have few days of time solve two to three question papers solve it part wise right see if you are you know how fast you can solve a part d part c part b part a see how fast you can solve and you also see which topics you are confident you will know when you uh, solve two three question papers which topic you are confident which chapter you are confident which chapter you are more prone to mistakes which chapter you are thorough and perfect you will know when you solve this so that will give you a good indicator of what you should do or what topics you should attempt in the final exam so do this exercise right if not the entire paper at least solve part wise two three question papers i'll take part d from previous two question papers see if i can solve it how much time it will take to solve the entire part d right and which 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 topic is taking more time is it matrix method or binomial theorem or partial fraction find out which is taking more time right and then make a right decision but it's very important that you have an idea of what topics you're going to choose in final exam just don't go prepare 100 uh, out of 100 uh, you know prepare the entire textbook and go and sit there then finally you'll get confused and you'll make wrong choices and uh, one more thing right revise all chapters part wise don't go from uh, first page to 100th page continuously right don't do that go chapter wise part wise so if you are attempting six uh, questions in part d 
if you are attempting six questions in part d ensure that you are prepared for six chapters in part d that is all five markers in these six chapters you should be confident and nine questions in part b so choose all two markers from all these nine chapters and practice right don't go from page 1 to page 100 don't read it like a book because that much of time is not there you will have very less time to revise so be little smart when you are doing all of these and revise formulas if possible write down all the formulas in one particular page or a book and revise them before the exam i have prepared some videos for formulas only just one minute video or few seconds videos just for formulas for few chap chapters so one thing right sleep well for the exams because if you are not going to sleep properly you are going to do mistakes you wouldn't know you will get into anxiety stress and then you will end up doing calculation mistakes right so sleep well and also drink lots of water water refreshes your body and keeps the stress level down don't get tensed prepare just enough in the sense don't prepare the entire book and mess up in the exam whatever you prepare be thorough be confident ella answers na verify maadi time nodkoli bari one question alle time waste maadbedi right if you don't know move on if you don't know move on don't get stuck in any problem and like i said choose questions where you can verify the answers and where it takes less time if you are preparing out of order right this is one guideline so i hope this video has helped you all the best for your exams do well prepare well take good rest and have a good sleep all the best thank you